Alright, got my spray paint. I got my two weapons I'm going to be painting today. So, yeah, let's get to it. What's going on, guys? It is Shay here. Now, today, guys, I'm here outside painting. I'm about to say playing some stuff, but today I'm going to be painting my basically my Fortnite HC hand cannon, aka the Desert Eagle. That's actually 50 AE Desert Eagle because the 50 AE Desert Eagle, the one that uses 50 AE or 50 Action Express uh, cartridges, they actually have these little ridges there. Um, and the old DL44 blaster pistol that I ended up turning into an army pistol from uh, Picture Strike 3D. So today I'm going to be painting these and I'm going to be painting them so I can show you guys how I do this. And these are actually painted with forces. I'm going to give them more overcoat um, because there's a lot of orange on my old Desert Eagle. I mean on my old uh, blaster which I'm turning into an actual gun. Um, there's actually a cardboard box over here. And if we come over here and get it, this is the piece, or this is what, this is actually what I use to paint my hand grips, which are on those guns over there. This is actually my first video I'm recording on my new phone, so I'm very excited for this. Um, I have to slide, what was that? I gotta slide this over here. And yeah, so, as you can see here, we have both guns, and I have my little cardboard box here to put up my hand grips, both these in there. And I just realized I don't have the screwdriver. <laughs> Let me go get the screwdriver. I'll be right back. All right, I got the screwdriver. This wasn't the one I was looking for, but hey, at least I got one. All right, so right here, I have the screwdriver that this wasn't the one I was looking for, but it looks very similar to the one I was going to look for. Uh, actually, I think the screwdriver's up there. Yeah, I think it's up there, but I'm gonna go, if this one doesn't work, I'm gonna use that one up there, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and paint these guns. Um, as you can see here, here's the Fortnite hand cannon, the Desert Eagle. I actually forgot to get the rubber bands to make this piece from, you know, doing that. Um, it's, you know, I painted it in a cartel skin, or the Naga skin from uh, CSGO, aka uh, Pixel Strike 3D. Um, they're not connected games, it's just that the gun, the skin and this gun in PS3D is called Cartel, which I was just like my favorite Desert Eagle skin in that game. Uh, it's actually very well, it was, it's gonna be very hot out here, especially since I'm gonna be painting. Um, I'm gonna be doing a lot of work. This is gonna be my first professional, I guess, professionally made painting video because the last one I did was my blaster tutorial, blaster painting tutorial that I did, which was never, which I didn't edit either parts. Um, and since I just got this phone yesterday, we're going to test and see how many, how long this thing can go. So as you can see here, I have three cans of spray paint. We have the matte clear enamel, which is actually to keep it from, um, to keep this paint from coming off so easily. And we have the metallic finish silver. And we have, uh, um, a leather brown which is of course the paint I used to paint these hand grips and <coughs> sorry but when you paint or when you can the way you can take these off there's actually two screws in here that were in there before I actually took them out because they were hard as crap to get out here when I was trying to unscrew this thing and see what was inside um, so uh, let me go ahead and get everything uh, topped off and then we will start painting as you can see here the hand the hand grips for the death eagle they just come off for me because i as i said i removed these two screws before so we're gonna repaint these brown the entire thing because last time i didn't finish uh drawing or they i didn't get them all right so yeah i have not yet fully realized how you use this camera but as you can see here there's a bunch of scratches up here near the front because i sand i tried to sand off the word fortnite here but i couldn't do that and the front of the barrel, as you can see, there's nothing through. You can see like the little holes back there. Um, I painted the inside of this, and I'm going to have to unscrew the entire thing over, respray this, because I was going to put the little Magnum Research thing. And this is, and I, although I said this in the beginning of the video, and my flash is on, um, although I said this in the beginning of the video, it, I did say that this was based off the 50 AE version of the Desert Eagle, because the apparently the 50 AE actually has these little ridges. Instead of three, it's actually four, as I remember. I saw a picture of that but i'm more a per more of a personal fan of the 44 magnum desert eagle um as you can see here um i can't really sand off any of this because i don't have sandpaper um and i'm actually gonna have to respray because you can see there just look at that i didn't even spray all the way there not even there um some of the paint didn't even do its job um it's because that for one i was anxious to do this and i don't think there's a way i can paint that even with the paint marker that i have for those who saw that video um as I said, the hand grips have already been removed. We're actually going to go ahead and paint the hand grips first and get ready. Well, first, we got to prime it and then we're going to respray it. 
all right so in here this is where the hand grips are going to be painted and first we're going to go ahead and use this i know i i don't do all the crazy freaking like techniques that some of these other people be doing you know to paint their crap let's set that over there you know shake it up a couple times all right you know of course is uh, keep this as far away from you as possible because if you in, you know, inhale too much of this crap you might actually end up either dying or getting sick. And let's hope to pray that my phone does not get any of this crap on it. So that was pretty quick. Uh, it really doesn't take that long because it actually sprays pretty fast or pretty far so if I just do that it sprays pretty far. So we're going to put this on top. And after these are done uh, drying, we're going to go ahead and spray um, this up there. So that way we can go ahead and unscrew the Desert Eagle. And then we're going to unscrew this gun. I actually might make a separate video on that one. Um, and then just des the Desert Eagle first. Because I want to get to the insides of um, those little ridges up here. Because in the actual Desert Eagle, those are actually silver, of course. Um, and originally on the gun, there were about... Let's see. There was probably about... At, at first, I think... How many screws I had in here after I modified this was probably about 10, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So there's 16 screws in total, which is a pretty good good amount. Of, a good amount. Um, so yeah, and not all 16 screws are in here. I think there's only about one, yeah, that's not one, uh, one, two two right there this screw there's a screw in here it's just that it's stuck um i don't know why but uh i think that's no that's not one is it oh there's one in there so that's three and then there's four and five so there's five screws in here currently um so we're gonna go ahead and modify this thing or you know paint it in a little bit and i'm not gonna paint this because i hold this thing a lot so yeah, these, like, this is, like, literally my favorite handgun, and I'm pretty sure some of you guys already know that this is my favorite handgun, and some people might know me personally, or there's a lot of people that know me personally that, you know, when they, when we talk about guns, this is, like, my favorite handgun. Anyway, so, I think these things are finished drawing enough, I actually have to touch it and see. Okay, so these things are dry to the point where I can go ahead and start painting. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get this paint sprayed. If you did, you could probably give this thing a couple more coats of paint because these, I did sand the hand grips because I was, I was originally going to um, paint it with a, a black, uh, a brown marker to make it brown, but it didn't even last for a day. So we're going to spray this with one more layer and the males here we're gonna spray this with one more coat of paint this one right here and it seems pretty good all right so while that's drying we're gonna go ahead and unscrew i was about to say this one but not yet we're gonna unscrew this uh desert eagle first um as you see here there's only about five screws we have to unscrew these pieces up top and the barrel piece and i'm actually gonna show you what this looks like with no with like without the front piece it looks more like a 1911 than anything so let's go ahead and unscrew everything And what you really want to do is that if you are going to paint the screws, I recommend you to keep them in the screw hole so that way you won't lose them. Because I did lose a couple screws because I was very irresponsible for that part. So that was 100% my fault. And they just come off like that. Just easily, carefully lift them up because if you don't lift them up carefully, then you're probably going to break it. And as you can see here, this is basically what it looks like with, uh, without the little piece there to cock the hammer or to cock the slide back. Um, so yeah. And as you can see here, that's what it looks like without the slide. Um, and there was actually apparently a screw in here. I think that was a screw to go in there. But it feels way more lighter and it feels great in the hand still, even without these screws on. Let's go ahead and unscrew the rest of it. All right, so as you can see, we all have I have all of the parts out here now. There's about one screw there, and here are these miscellaneous pieces uh, like the pistol grip, and the I I guess like the little cocking mechanism, and these are pieces that we're gonna have to use. Now in here, 
I actually did paint these pieces. Let me see if I can show you because there's a screw in here. And I painted them the best I could because I was not going to sit out here all day. And it's currently, what time is it? It is currently 3.26 p.m. where I am. I don't know where you guys are, where you guys live at. But as you can see here, these are the two main pieces we're going to be unscrewing. I'm mean, not unscrewing, but we're going to be painting. So we're going to prime these. Um, basically, it's not really a primer, but you know what I mean. Uh, so we're going to go over here. We're going to set these pieces down. And we're going to set the gun off like this one over here and set the barrels on top of that and we're going to place these pieces over here so that way they don't really get caught by the paint so let's go ahead and prime these and i'm going to move my little two screwdrivers and i actually found the reason why this one right here was not working so well because it's a little bit too bigger a little bit bigger than this one so yeah well uh i guess it's something to look forward to i don't know but um we're going to come over here and prime these we'll technically do the matte sealer right here and let's get to basically priming. <coughs> God, I wish I had a mask. Like, it's the great time to wear a mask in this time. But, Jesus Christ, even a regular hospital mask wouldn't even do. But that smell was a little bit too strong because I did spray a good amount of coats. So we're going to spray one more coat so that way this can easily stick onto here. I don't know if that really will do, but whatever. All right. We have successfully um, did the little matte clear up there. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull up my sleeves on my shirt because, guys, I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt. It's kind of cold today. But I'm going to be pulling on my sleeves on my long sleeve shirt because... Uh, on my shirt because it is just starting to get a little bit hot because you know I am moving around a little bit so I'll be right back I finally got my sleeves off on my shirt because I'm gonna be working a little bit so um, these are kind of dry now um, to the point where I can actually start going ahead and go ahead and start to paint finally open this crap up again I haven't opened this up in a minute so let's put it between my legs uh, all right cool all right shake it up a couple times and we're gonna go ahead and spray That's probably the best I can do for right now. We'll go ahead. Did I get any paint on my phone? Hey, I know I didn't, so we're good. But because my mom doesn't want me to damage this phone at all, otherwise, she's, otherwise my booty is going to be hurting. Anyway, so yeah, as you can see, we do have a little bit of splotches because I did give it a little bit of an overspray. But you know, I have to do that, otherwise, it's not going to look fine. Um, and this thing was away from it a minute. So these, the hand grips for Desert Eagle, they're still not yet painted or not painted, but they're nowhere near done still. So we might have to sit them in, probably in front of a fan to make them dry a little bit easier. Probably have to move them around a little bit. And yeah, so yeah, I guess we'll just wait. I'll wait for this for a couple minutes and for a little bit and I'll come back. All right, so I'm back and I actually went in and I painted these pieces and I actually got the inside of them. So yes, I actually got the thing. Can you see that? I got the inside of that finally, and I repainted these because I actually saw a little bit of paint. Um, let's focus. Um, I saw a little bit of paint fading from these, and these are just drying right now. And what's and what I did with the handle grips uh, or the hand grips, the grips of this thing, uh, they're still not dry. Actually, I think I don't think I sprayed the upper part of here because, well, I mean, like, I think that's still the. Uh, well, you guys can you guys see the shimmer? Um, it's not supposed to look like that. I might have to respray them again, but this looks pretty nice. It's just that this piece right here is what's giving me the most problem. And it looks a li lot better, but they still have to dry. Um, sorry, I'm not showing them on my camera, but these things have to dry a little bit more. So, uh, yeah, I'll set them back down there. And let's check and see if these pieces are dry. And, yes, it is dry. Um, as you can see here, I still didn't paint. Okay, you know what? All right, we're going to paint this right now. I thought, I really thought I got underneath that. Let's go ahead. Let's spray it one more time. Uh, let's go ahead and do it like that. So now it's finally painted. Now I gotta wait for that one to sit there again. And let's check and see if this one is dry. And this was actually painted before, like this piece here, what irritated me. And yes, they're dry now. And yeah, that seems pretty nice. Although with the llama symbol, they're from Fortnite. But yeah, uh, these are still not dry yet. We're gonna have to, uh, for this, 
I'm gonna go ahead and respray this piece. I think that's still spray paint. Where's the matte finisher? I'm gonna respray this piece right here. All right, so that's drying. I think that was either the matte clear sealer or probably the brown spray paint. I don't know, but this piece here, um, as I said, I'm not painting for the simple fact that I put my hands here, as I said. So anyway, yeah, we're almost close to finishing this and we're coming to a close. And uh, yeah, and I think I already paint. Did I paint this already? Is that silver? Is that the silver spray paint or is that the matte? I think that's the matte clear finisher. I don't think I matte sprayed these yet. So let's go ahead and do that now. Great. Uh, we're finally dry. And uh, for the hand grip, for just this one specifically, it's still drying. I said these might take me all day but these pieces are dry and I'm gonna also let the, the entire gun sit out after I get everything situated and after I get everything you know situated with all the bowl well the extra bowl crap up here you know just this these pieces are gonna of course just stay like this especially since I fulfilled my dream by getting these pieces in the inside and my camera's not focusing on that what the what was that I felt dirt on me but Whatever, as you can see in there, I got the best I could in there. Might have to paint it over here again, but I'm not going to do that because I did it enough. Alright, so since we're coming to a close in this video, we're going to go ahead and put everything together and I'm going to go get some rubber bands and put, you know, these little piece, the pieces up there on these so that way they can stay together and um, that way I could put them in there and they won't, you know, really do anything. But the reason why it snapped is because of, for one, I kept on putting, kept on putting force on the slide which I didn't want to do, but I kept on doing it anyway, because I'm stupid. <laughs> anyway, so the hand grips, they're still not dry. Well, this this one, well, over here, this one's dry. It's just a, uh, sorry. This one's dry over here, but this one, it's still being uh, a penis to me. It's, you can still see that little bit of a shimmery. I don't want that shimmer to stay there. Um, let's move that back. And yeah, I'm gonna get some rubber bands for the gun, and basically, we'll be done. Alright guys, so I'm back out here now. It took me forever to find all the stuff I needed. I actually have... Where the freak did it go? I have... Is it right? Yeah, it's right here. Um, put that in there. I actually have a red dot sight I want to be putting on Desert Eagle. It's not really well made. It's not... It's almost just like a flat piece of cardboard. Flat piece of cardboard. Um, I couldn't find any rubber bands, but my uh, mom, she does have this double stick tape, this very great double stick tape. I have transparent tape, which I'm going to be using to stick, probably let this thing sit up there. Um, I'm going to put it together and see what it will look like with that thing on, and then I'm going to take it back apart, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this thing done, because um, all the hand grips, um, except for like this one piece, someone turned my piece over, which really pissed me off. But hey, at least it got the job done. So these are basically I've been in, I've been inside for nearly 10 minutes trying to find some material. So yeah, these are all dry now, and yeah, I think we are done here. So I'm gonna put this thing together and I'm gonna show it off in the next video, and then in another video we're gonna paint this and we're get these pieces back. I actually have to find all the screws that I had at first because I don't even know what the where the hell I put them at, but whatever so i'm gonna put this thing together and basically we're done here so i'm gonna put this thing back together and i'm gonna let it see and see what the red dot side looks like if it doesn't look good i'm gonna take it off i'm not gonna put it up there but i have to stick these pieces up here and uh yeah so i'll see you guys um on the final look of this thing Alright guys, so that basically does it for the end of this video. Um, it took a little bit longer than I was expecting it to be. Um, so here's the final result. It looks pretty nice, a little bit more decent than how it was before. As you see here, it's not coming back down. No, there's no rubber band in here. I actually used double sticks, a very strong double stick tape to put this piece up here. And I can't cock it back or anything because it's going to be the prop from Pixel Strike 3 because the blowback system doesn't even work in that game for the Deagle, which is kind of weird. I don't understand why. Here is um, here's the hand grip. Um, I also got to let this thing sit for a, more, for a little bit more so that way the paint can fully dry. And there's a train in the background. Shut up, train. Um, but yeah, as you can see there, it looks almost very similar to a real Desert Eagle. It looks like I'm actually in the camera. It looks like I'm holding a real Desert Eagle. You can see some of the pieces up here. I meant I want to look like that, I guess. 
Um, just to prove this isn't a real Desert Eagle, it says Fortnite right there. Um, but yeah, I, I'm pretty happy with this. I've got to go edit this video and then I have to go come and come out here and, and uh, finish spray painting or spray paint my other gun that I want to be doing. So I got a lot of stuff to do. I have to edit this video, which is probably going to be up to 20 minutes long. Uh, one of the longest videos I've done, um, almost. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this gun. And uh, yeah, unfortunately there's no trigger. I'm going to pretend I'm even shooting. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe because this took me a long time to do. So with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.